President Donald Trump has set the wheels in motion to throw away the Department of Labor's fiduciary rule. Here's why you should care. The fiduciary rule is a regulation that requires financial advisors, brokers, and insurance planners to only act in the best interest of their customers. So what does this all mean? Fiduciary means to act in good faith and trust. You expect some people in your life to be fiduciaries, and yet others you don't. Take, for instance, your lawyer or your doctor. You expect your doctor to only prescribe medication that's good for you and not try to make money off of you, right? On the other hand, if the fiduciary rule applied to everything, imagine how something as simple as ordering a cup of coffee could play out. So you walk into the coffee shop and order a nice latte. And the barista says, I'm sorry, I cannot let you order that. You see, I'm a fiduciary barista and I have a duty to only brew coffee in the best interest of my clients. And this iced latte is costing you $585 in annual fees. You could get the same quality for half the price. Or if Apple CEO Tim Cook was about to announce the new iPhone 8. But now that he's a fiduciary CEO, he has an obligation to only act in the best interest of customers. So he says, I'm sorry, I cannot let you order this iPhone 8. You don't need a new iPhone. Honestly, we're running out of ideas. Now let's take a look at how this plays out in your finances, which is actually the question at hand. Without the fiduciary rule, a lot of people can be led by their financial advisors to buy expensive and complicated financial products that in many cases they don't even need, but which provide high fees to the advisor. The fiduciary rule, which was supposed to take effect in April, would put an end to all of that. But the Trump administration pushed it back to June, and President Trump actually wants to scrap this legislation altogether. So until all of this gets sorted out, the first question you need to ask a financial advisor is, are you a fiduciary?